keep him honest with a congressional candidate running from reporters because his fighting words are drawing fire. His name is Pastor Stephen Broden. He's a Republican and he's running in Texas against Dallas Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson. Now, you may be familiar with Eddie Bernice Johnson's name. It may ring a bell. We've been reporting on uh, her for weeks because she's been funneling uh, tens of thousands of dollars in scholarship money for years. Scholarship money that was meant for needy kids, she's been funneling it to her own relatives and relatives of one of her staffers. Well, Pastor Broden is now trying to run from comments that he's made that suggest he endorses the idea of a violent overthrow of the federal government if Election Day doesn't turn out the way, in his opinion, it should. Last week, a reporter at our Dallas affiliate, WFAA, asked Pastor Broden about comments he's made mentioning revolution. He's talked about using, quote, any means necessary to change the government. Pressed by the reporter if that meant violence, Pastor Broden said the option of violence against the federal government is, quote, on the table. And he said, quote, I don't think we should remove anything from the table. Listen. So you would include a violent overthrow of the government by saying if uh, the framers said that don't work revolution. No, I would say that, that to whatever extent that we can alter or adjust or abolish it. Well, what does, to whatever by extent any that means is, necessary, doesn't that include violence? Well, that's part of the scenario, but that is not the first option. And this obviously wasn't the first option with the Declaration of Independence well, either. So you would include some kind of violent overthrow of the government by including revolution? It is not the first option. It the is first, an option, though, in it, your mind. The first option is to alter it or abolish it. It is a part of the scenario, and we as Americans must understand that our founding fathers included that in the scenario. But violence is an option as you view Our nation was founded on violence. We violently resisted King George and revolted against his tyranny. In 2010, you would urge that as an option, though? The option is on the table. I don't think that we should ever remove anything from the table. Now, as you might imagine, those comments have caused an uproar, and the Dallas Morning News revoked its previous endorsement of, of the pastor. Yesterday, Pastor Broden went on the web to say his words were twisted. Our remarks were intended to be historical and philosophical in nature. They were taken out of context by a reporter, and only part of what I said was heard. Our government is justly elected, but terribly misguided. And because it is justly elected, the only legitimate defense to our liberty is through peaceful change at the ballot box. And as long as we have election, our remedy to bad government is our right to vote. So he's now saying peaceful change is the only remedy. It's not what he said on Friday. He's saying he was taken out of context in that original interview and that he was speaking historically and philosophically. But you just heard from the reporters specify if the congressman was talking about this election, 2010, and he said he was. And it's not the first time that uh, the pastor has hinted at a violent overthrow of the government. Here, here he is last year in Fort Worth at a rally. We are experiencing with this administration. Listen to me. We are experiencing with this administration a rapid fire attempt to implement a socialistic philosophy that first seeks to dispossess and replace our Judeo-Christian heritage with a philosophy shaped in secular humanism, framed in atheistic godlessness, and birth of a Darwinist Marxism. And we must wake up, and we must resist. I'm just about over the hill. I'm on the checkout list. But guess what? I'm going to fight until I get out of here. I'm going to fight God. I leave. And I encourage you to do the same. We have a constitutional remedy here. And the framer says, if that don't work, revolution. If that don't work, revolution. I believe it's time to wake up. We must fight. Not only must we fight, listen to me, we must fight. Win! Well, you can decide for yourself if the pastor's most recent comments about violence being on the table were taken out of context. But just for the record, the argument that you've been taken out of context is a pretty common refrain from anyone who's ever said anything that they regret. What he took out of context was a comment I made in an interview. One of the comments uh, that was taken out of context, or maybe wasn't the best metaphor. When taken out of context, of course, you can make anyone look look like they they don't know what they're talking about and taking snippets of conversations out of context 
are you really seeing yourself as one of the great martyrs of history? No, in fact, that was taken out of context. Well, we wanted to give the pastor an opportunity to explain himself, explain what he felt with the context. And he agreed to come on the program last night, then he canceled, promising he'd come on tonight, but he canceled again today. In fact, he's not doing any more interviews, which means that Pastor Stephen Broden now joins the very long list of candidates running from reporters. It's not about justice. It's not about agenda. It's not about mobilizing people. It's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders.